Hello everyone, my name is Ruger and I hope you have an awesome day. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple and easy wither skeleton farm for you and your worlds. This farm works for 1.18.12 and all versions of Minecraft and up as far as I know. And if you guys are interested, there'll be a full materials list down in the description of the video. And if you guys enjoy this video, it helps a lot. Consider like, button, subscribe, and more. Helps a lot and I do appreciate it. And let's hop right into it. So today I'm going to show you how to make a simple and easy wither skeletons farm right here. And as you can see right here, you can go ahead and make this as big as you want or as small as you want. So right here I got about four pods right here. And you can go ahead, you can make this one pod, or you can make this two pods, or three, or four. It doesn't really matter. You can even make them more if you find more spawning spots. Um, in Bitterrock Edition, we have certain blocks in the structure called structure blocks for the mobs spawning on. In Java, it's not the same like that because the entire fortress has an area. You can have a chance to spawn mobs. But we have specific spots in our fortress in Bedrock Edition here that are spawning block structure blocks. And that's where the mobs spawn. And so these right here are structure right here. These blocks right here can spawn fortress mobs. So you just have to find these structure blocks right here for the structure mobs like pillager outposts, nether fortresses, and ocean monuments. Guardians spawn on specific blocks and ocean monuments. And nether fortress, fortress mobs spawn on specific blocks throughout the fortress. And actually, there's a lot more spawning spots and boxes like this, these little building areas in the nether fortress, than actually the bridges like these. But you can build this farm wherever you want. You can build them in these building areas and you can tear them down like I did right here and find it out. And then find out where the spawning spots are and build your farms. Or you can go on ahead, you can build them on a bridge. It doesn't matter. But first things first, to get started today, you're going to have to go on ahead and you got to find a nether fortress. And you can see right here, I spawned for this entire fortress. That's because I've been doing a little bit of testing on this design. And you have to spawn a 50 block radius. So I recommend finding a fortress that's above lava. That would be the most wise decision. You know, go on ahead and build it over lava. That way it's less spawn proofing, less of a pain, and less materials and way cheaper. So I recommend going on and do that and spawn a 50 block radius. You don't have to spawn the entire fortress, just a 50 block radius all the way around of your AFK area. And then go on ahead, go on ahead and find your platform you want to do, whether it's a bridge or a platform like this. Go on ahead, obviously, go on ahead, you know, grab your sword or whatever, and exterminate all these mobs that might be around here, you know, make sure you're, you're safe and sound. And uh, go on ahead and grab your glass panes, and you're going to want to go on ahead right here, a block above the platform, so right here on the second block at the head height, and go on ahead and go all the way around and put glass panes all the way around this platform, so go all the way around with these glass panes, whether you're on a bridge or you're on this flat platform right here that you leveled out, just go on ahead the glass panes and go all the way around. This is going to make it to where we're going to be able to find the spawning spots where the fortress uh, blocks, where the fortress mobs are spawn on. We'll be able to find out exactly where they are so we know where to build the farms and the kill chambers. So go on ahead over here, fill this all up with glass panes, and that way we can find out exactly where they're going to be spawning. Now with that, go on ahead and grab your temp blocks or whatever block you want to do. I recommend doing blast for blocks just in case the gas comes by. And then go on ahead over here and go 25 to 30 blocks out. I recommend it doesn't matter if it's 30 or 25. I recommend just going either one of those and then go ahead and do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And then go on ahead, stand right here in this area and just wait for the mobs to spawn. They'll spawn those glass panes and won't be able to move. And then you can get all oh, ahead, grab your marker block and get ready. It may take a while for them to spawn there, but they will spawn. See right there, that will the skeleton eventually. And then you can come over here in this area and you can come over here and you can see he's standing between four blocks. So you're going to go on for now and you're going to put these blocks here. They don't have to be gold blocks, just something that is different from the fortress blocks. So you know that's a spawning spot right there. And you're going to be locating the spawning block, the two spawning blocks in a minute here that they actually spawn on. But we'll wait for that in just a second here. Make sure you go on ahead back here in this area and uh, go on ahead and mark out each spawning spot every time they spawn. And uh, once you're satisfied with how many spawning spots you find, like four or five, or how many of your want, you have any farms you want to make, and then we'll uh, move on to the next step. After you find your spawning spots, it should be set looking something like this. You might have more spawning spots. You might not have as many of these, but you should find a pretty good amount of them. As you can see right here, we got a pretty good grid. Uh, spawning spots right here as you can see they all spawned right here now if you're having a little bit of a problem having them spawn is taking a while you're maybe sitting over here and they're not spawning quite a bit you can always take your light trickle fly around and lo unload the chunks and come back into the loaded chunks and you might have some starting to spawn some areas that they didn't before or you can go on ahead and just go out with a strider or whatever just go out like walk out of the render distance you know like tutorial these guys despawn and then go on ahead and come back in that will refresh it and they might spawn more mobs in areas that you don't know the spawning spots were before um and also if there is a spawning spot like let's just say there's one right here obviously 
and it was like maybe like one over like like this so you had like a spawning spot maybe like one right here as well just go on ahead and pick one of these and maybe do one that's more like a grid pattern and then go ahead and just cover this one up slab proof it you know whatever you need to do and then that way you just have your nice cool you know uniformed uh, grid of your spawning platforms and you figured out which one you want so you can go on ahead you can use all these spawning spots if you want if you have four like me or you might have like maybe just one or two and sign up too but next thing you gotta go ahead and do is obviously take care of the hostile enemies go ahead and kill all these guys you actually might end up with a head while you do it too if you have gluten free and uh yeah just get rid of all these guys i don't think they get blazes for that you have to go in here and just do this like this and just kill them all get them all out of here you already found your spawning spots now. They're already marked out. Make sure you mark out the spawning spots. The four blocks like I did between the four blocks. Um, is the four blocks in between the four blocks they're standing on. You're supposed to mark those out. So make sure you did that. And go ahead and throughout here. Kill these guys. Get rid of them all. And then go on ahead and break all of these glass panes. And I'll move on to the next step. I'm done with that. It should be looking like this. And you should have all the glass panes out of here. And you should have your four spawning spots. Or maybe more depending on your fortress or what kind of area you picked out. Or maybe just on the bridge and you have a couple of spawning spots right there. And then you're going to go on ahead and you're going to grab a piece of dirt and a sunflower. And you want to place the piece of dirt right here and the sunflower right here. And you're going to go on ahead and face yourself facing towards the direction the sunflower is facing. So face that way because sunflower face is facing that way. And then go on ahead and turn this way. And all these blocks on this side facing this direction keep. But break these two blocks uh, because you're going to the left not to the right of the sunflower. So make sure you're going ahead. And all the blocks on the right in this direction. So you see right here, this flower, if I keep go this way. So all the blocks, they're on this side, they're going that way. Keep those, but break these two blocks right here. So basically just stand in front of the sunflower, turn right, all the blocks on the right side of that, you know, keep. And then the ones on the left, take care of those. And there you go, there's your two spawning spots for the blocks that they're going to be spawning on. Then go on ahead over here and do one, two, three, and then one, two, three. And then blocks back up here all the way free up and blocks right here and another row right here make these free tall and free tall up here as well then grab your glass and put a glass block here and here make sure there's a spot right here open two blocks right here that way they can spawn and that way when the fortress mobs spawn they'll spawn in the glass and it'll shove them out and it'll throw them into the kill chamber where they'll die and then i'm going to go ahead and show you build one, how i show you how to build one of these and then you can build all yours afterwards. So you go ahead and just break this right here. And then go on right here and do one, two, three. And if you want to, you can go ahead and break these two blocks right here. Put glass right there so you can kind of see in the farm. And then go on ahead over here and place a temp block here. Saw block here. Break that temp block and place a block here, 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 and here, and here. And after that, go on ahead and slap off the top of this. This will make it to where no fortress mobs spawn on top of these blocks. You don't want that. You want them spawning in the farm and not outside of the farm. And then go on ahead in here temporarily. Break those two blocks. They come in here and put two blocks back. And then go on ahead and do one. So do one, two, three, and four. And after that, go on ahead and make yourself a little bit of a floor right here. And go on ahead over here and put all blocks all the way around. And after that, go on ahead and grab your pistons. And you can go ahead right here and you can break this block right here. So the block right here where the gold is right here. Go ahead and place a piston right there. You break this block right here, put a piston right there. Break this blocker here, put a piston right there, and break this blocker here, and put a piston right here. You might be flowing over a lava lake. There might not be a pillar here like I have right here. You might be over a lava lake, so you might have to be careful on that. Um, if you go on ahead and do the exact same thing where you're floating over a lava lake, or going on ahead and you're digging inside a pillar thing right here, and it's going ahead and make this triangular. You can break all, all these blocks right here. So make sure to break all those blocks. Then grab your observers and make one facing this way. So make sure the arrow's facing this way and the red dot. And then come over here and do it over here as well. Make sure that one's facing this way. And then go on ahead and make sure this one's facing that way. And then this one right over here is facing this way. And then this one right here is facing that way. And then this one over here is facing this way. And then this one over here is facing that way. And then this one over here is facing this way. And you can go ahead and break this one out temporarily if you want. And then go on ahead and replace it back. Make sure it's facing that way, obviously. And then go on ahead and just break a couple of these blocks out. And if you don't have any blocks here, you can just, you know, throw all open for you. And then go ahead and turn, flip that lever right there. Just turn it off for a second. Then flip it again. And it should turn on and keep going over and over again. Then go ahead and turn it off. And then go ahead and place four blocks back here. Three blocks right here. Three blocks right here. One block right there. A slab right there. And then aim for your trident and throw it right in the trident killer right there at that piston. Then go over to over here. And go to right here. And you might have blocks here, might not. But go on ahead and go four blocks down total. So go one, two, three, four. And then go on over here. And then break all this out right here. And you can go ahead and break this out if you want. And then go on ahead and aim for the edge right here. As you can see right here. 
this is the edge part right here. So you can go right here and do this. And if you guys want to, you can always go on ahead right here and you can place blocks all the way around. That way there's no chance of any fortress mobs escaping, like phasing through the sides or anything like that. And then go on ahead over here and just place blocks all the way out here. And then make sure to go right here. So make sure you're staying right underneath this area where the back trident is. And then go on ahead right here. And that means your platform's out far enough to go about one, two, three, four. And make sure you know you make this area safe and sound and everything for you. And then go on ahead, grab your chests and place two chests right here. And then grab your hoppers and place a crouch and place one hopper going into the chest. Make sure the nozzle of the hopper is going into the chest. And then go on ahead, go on ahead, grab your rails and crouch and place them on top of the hopper right there. And then go on ahead and grab your solid blocks and your minecart with a hopper and go over here and place a solid block here, 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 and then go over ahead and place your minecart with a hopper right here. And that way it doesn't fall out and then place one more block right there. And then that should be your area where you can go on ahead and have all of your items go into. And then you can go on over here. You can break all of these blocks right here that are a little bit in the way. And you can always go on ahead and you can place a five, about four blocks right there. Then grab your ladders. And you can go on, go on ahead and place one, two, three, four. You can even go ahead and break that right there and that one right there and have two. And you can still go on ahead and get up here. It doesn't really matter. It's just up to you. But you can go on ahead and place four or two. It doesn't really matter. And go on ahead over here and place one right here and one right here. So you can get up the ladder to go down and check on your chest and then come up here at the end of the day. And you can always go ahead and break these out if you want. Or you can go ahead and make a wall right here if you don't have one so the gas can't get you. Um, I recommend probably boxing off this area. That way you can go ahead and be able to check your loot in peace and not have any problems. And uh, yeah, and your farm should be basically done. You can just turn this on right here. As you can see right there. Try to go back and forth when any mobs go in there. It should kill them instantly. And it doesn't matter what side you build this on. Um, you can go ahead and still AFK here, and they'll still spawn. It doesn't have the front of the farm doesn't have to be where the AFK spot is, but if you want it, so you can always go ahead and make an AFK platform out here. You can do 25 or 30 blocks out, and you also can go ahead and get rid of some blocks. You really didn't need, you can get rid of it a long time ago. It didn't need to be there. But there you go. There is a simple and basic with a skull skeleton farm right here, all done complete. Now it's up to you. You can go on ahead and you can make three of these, three more of these. It's up to you if you want to do that or not. Or you can go on ahead and you can just do one for now and when you get more materials later or you want more skulls, um, you can go on ahead and you can just, you know, build those later and just do this one for now. Um, but the last thing you need to go on to do is go on ahead and slab this entire area off. So make sure you go on ahead and slab this area off. And then afterwards, all you have to do is go on ahead and grab your looting free sword after you're done slabbing this entire platform. If you're going to make three more of these, just do the exact same thing I did. Just rewind the video and go do the exact same thing I showed you. And then go ahead and do it for all three of these, or even more, even six or ten. It just all depends on you. And you could build probably two with the skeleton farms and the same fortress. I don't see why you cannot. And make sure you do a 50 block radius. Slab it, or put buttons down, or something. But make sure it's 50 blocks in the entire radius of your spawning platform. Also, for a good spawning uh, AFK box, you can always go ahead right over here. You can place a block here, here, here. Do two right here, two right here, two right here. And then place two right here, two right here. One temp block here, saw block right there, break that temp block, place one right here, then right here, run here, and one here. And go ahead and place slab here, slab here, two slabs here, two slabs here, two slabs there, two slabs right there. And then go on ahead right here, and go on ahead and grab your door and your buttons. And you can go on ahead right here and uh, probably get rid of this guy, you don't want him in there. And, and <laughs> get rid of him, get him out of there. And then go ahead and place your door right there, and then place a button right there. Push that button right here, put a button right here, and push that right there, and you should open the door every time. I don't think gas can break open iron doors, but let me know in the comments. I think you should be saving here. If not, you can always go ahead and just block, like, block yourself up by going ahead and just putting two blocks right here, or even doing glass. It doesn't really matter. Um, it's entirely up to you. Uh, but yeah, it's a safe AFK pot right there to make it to where you can go ahead and get tons of loot. And yeah, definitely recommend slabbing this area off. Slap any areas off in the 50 block radius. That way all the mobs spawn in your farm and not on the, in the fortress. And I hope you guys do enjoy and build this farming worlds. If you guys did, don't forget to hit a like, hitting like button, subscribe once more. Helps a lot and they do appreciate it. And have an awesome day, everyone.